In this lecture, we are going to explore about Excel text function. Certain times when you get your data, it's not in clean format. Like let's say in your company, when employees data comes to you, you will see there are a lot of spaces before that name, in between the, that name. How to clean that name? There's an Excel text function called trim. So right, is equal to trim select the that text enter so you see spaces before that already trimmed now copy that down so the entire data is trimmed and same way sometimes you want to get all those text in a uppercase letter how to do it there is a text function called upper select that text Click enter you will see get all that letter in uppercase copy that down all the letter in lowercase if you want to get same right is equal to lower select that text click enter you will see every letters in that text turns into lowercase proper case when first letter of any text you want to get in capital letter then you use proper case so is equal to proper select that text enter you will see s and s becomes capitalized copy that down everything is cleaned so in that way if you want to trim that text and uppercase entire string and lower case and proper case you can use trim function upper lower and proper case sometimes you want to retrieve certain specific number of characters from left side from right side or middle of the text how to do it is equal to left function select that text and let's say th three number of characters we want number of characters is three is equal to enter you see from left side three number of characters we get and now copy that down let's say middle two characters we want how to do it is equal to mid function select that text start number is one two three four five start number is five after that two characters we want to click ok and copy that down now see middle two characters we retrieve right eight characters we want to retrieve let's say one two three four five six seven eight from right side eight characters we want to retrieve is equal to r i g h t select that text the number of characters is eight click ok from right side you fetch eight number of characters copy that down now and if you want to get the length of the any text if you want to know length of any text there is a function length function in excel so it's equal to length select the text enter length of the text is 15 so copy that down now you see all the text length is 15 here so we get left three functions mid left three characters mid two characters and write eight characters and we also learn about the length function here another very important text functions are find and search find functions will return the positions of a specific characters or substring inside a string you know find is case sensitive let's say we want to find a from surajita if we give capitalized a instead of small a it won't find it will throw error so let's export that find function so is equal to find find text we want to find a in quotation mark give a within a text select that text will start number we left it blank we will come to that later now click ok you see Positions of the Surajita A is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. 
in same way let's say we want to find m in susoma is equal to find find text is m within a text select that text and click ok you see one two three four five fifth position m is in fifth positions so now let's learn about case sensitivity if if you want to find r instead of r if we give capital r let's see what happened is equal to find find text is capital r within a text select that text click ok you see it throws error because find is case sensitive search is not case sensitive another functionality of find let's learn about it is equal to find find text we want to find text a this index number of this last a not this first occurrence of a find text we want to find a give a inside quotation mark within a text is surajita and start number remember first a occurs at four so after four we will start number let's see after five five is a start number you see click ok you see eight positions a is in next a is in eight position one two three four five six seven eight next a is in eight position coming to the search function search functions works in the same way but search is case insensitive also search support wildcards that's for that's with advanced function wildcards we will learn it later but in this video we are going to explore the case insensitivity and functionality of search functions click ok search let's say we want to find is index number of is is inside quotation mark within a text is select that text click ok one two three and four it is started from four index number case insensitivity let's learn about it is equal to search we want to search e what is the index number of e so inside quotation mark give e this time we give capital e instead of small e we don't throw any error because search is case insensitive select the text now click ok you see it won't throw any error because search is not case sensitive so remember difference between the find and search find is case sensitive and doesn't support wildcards search is case insensitive but support wildcards another important excel text function is replace and substitute also let's say how to let's say we want to replace any text with another text how to do it then we can use replace function is equal to replace old text is select the text start number we want to change let's say a in first a we want to change start, start number is four here number of character we want to change one number of character instead of a want to give o click ok successfully replace o in place of a let's say how to replace four characters here i love you instead of love we want to replace with head so is equal to replace old text select that text start number it start from three index number three start number is three number of characters we want to change is four and new text given is head click ok this would successfully replace it but if you want to replace both a here in susoma first occurrence of a and last occurrence of a we want to change or we want to change last occurrence of a we need to know index number but substitutes doesn't have that shortcomings so let's see how substitute works is equal to substitute substitute work 
in the same way that replace. So let's learn about the subshift. Text select the text. Old text is let's say we want to change U here. Old text is U. In show you want to give O. Click O. Instance number first, first instance of U want to change here. Only one U. If there is various U's are there, we can specify which instance of U want to change. Let's see it later. Click OK now. See we replace it. We substitute it O instead of U. So let's say second occurrence of T. We want to substitute second occurrence of T with L. How to do it? Is equal to substitute. Select the text. Old text is T. New text is L. But instance is second T, not first T. We want to change. Instant is 2. So click OK. You see, second occurrence of T only change. All the T remain the same. So where we can use it better is, let's say we want to change one particular string and copy that down. Instead of June, we want to write region, how to do it, is equal to substitute old text, select that text, old text is June, just write in June, remember in replace we have to give index number starting number of characters index number but here we just writing old text and new text we can do it in new text we want region click ok you see just by creating one functions you copy that down all the zones will change to region Remember, in replace functions, you can't do it. If you change the zone to region, you can copy that down because replace one start number and number of character you want to change. Here, start number will be 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, but here, start number will be 5. You can copy that down in replace function, but in substitute, you can do it easily. So, keep learning, practice more and more, import data sets and practice on that data set, it will be easier. In our data sets, there are first names and last name. If you want to combine them together and get the full name, how to do it? There is various ways to do it. First way is concat. So is equal to concat. First text is first name and second text is this we want to give a gap in between two names so take second text inside quotation marks and third text is last name click ok you see we get full sets of full name you see we get full name from first name and last name now copy that down another way is to do it text join is equal to text join so delimiter is let's say we want to left it there that's a delimiter gap there is in between those names first text is first name and then second text is middle name and third text is last name click ok you see you retrieve full name from first name middle name and last name now copy that down it's easy in both ways concat or text join you can do let's say there are names you want to retrieve first name middle name and last name from the name how to do it one way is to do it text to column select the text go to data tab go to text to columns click next choose the delimiter you want to delimiter is space let's say now click next Destination is F2. One to destination is G2. So 
in destination give the destination g2 want to get it in g2 so give destination g2 click finish you see in just button or click you retrieve first name mid name and last name from text to columns another way is to do it flash fill method so you will keep training that excel what you want to retrieve and excel automatically find a pattern in those names and it will retrieve first name or mid name or last name let's see how to do it first names type is just manually or then click ok and now select all those data click ctrl e you see first name automatically taken same way in mid give d first and select all those data and click ctrl e you see it automatically take the middle names in same way last name silver select the sales ctrl e it automatically taken this in flash fill method you can get it also let's say from a name you want to get first name and last name one way is to get is text to column and flash fill method another way how to use search find functions inside left and right so you want to get left six characters but in if we go to second row we want to get left four characters so simply we can use left function so that's where search function comes into play so how to use it let's see is equal to left how many characters we want what is the text select the text how many characters we want we don't know but we know before this gap before this space all the characters we want how to find positions of a gap that's where search function comes into play so search click in that search in function box find text what is the text you want to search that space give in between quotation mark within text select that text so in seven so text is a2 and all the character before this gap which is seven indexed we want to find so click ok you see search in comes now copy that down with the help of search functions and left functions you can do it too when it comes to last you have to use right functions is equal to right what is the text select that text number of characters what is the number of characters we don't, we don't know after this space all the characters we want how to do it so you see you learn about length function here you will use length function derive length of entire string first from that search from entire length we want to minus this index till this gap okay so search want to find this gap again text select the text click ok now you see tendul core is retrieve now drag it down e easily you get last names this is a bit advanced so practice it more you will get easily